Hello, and welcome to Levidian Publications Unenveloping. Just did an unenveloping the other day for uh, the chapbook, the Mr. Purple chapbook. And today is one that I'm even more excited about because this, my friends, is Seven Shades of Evil by Robert McCammon. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Uh, so, it doesn't have the uh, foam fitted packaging that the other Levidian titles typically are sent with. But Brian, Brian James Freeman has said that, that is, he's going to try to do this other method for the ARCs uh, just because he needs to save on shipping conditions in order to you know, keep costs low, which I am totally fine with. It looks to have survived uh, admirably. Uh, so anyways, Seven Shades of Evil is coming out in October of this year, and it is the uh, Matthew Corbett short story collection. Now, they call it the ninth volume and the penultimate volume. I don't know if that's necessarily accurate. I mean, I guess guess it is. It's the penultimate release uh, because there's only one novel left. But this is a short story collection, stories from Matthew Corbett's world. So I don't think they actually all fall in between it. So to me, like, penultimate is like the penultimate in, like, storytelling. I guess it's the penultimate release because it's, you know, second last release. But I imagine the stories in here are kind of peppered throughout uh, Matthew Corbett's time. So uh, it is being released in a signed limited edition, which is sold out, and a trade hardcover edition. Uh, if you want a trade hardcover edition, but you want to be signed by Robert McCammon, uh, fret not, you can go to Alabama Booksmith uh, to pre-order a copy of the signed hardcover. It's just a trade edition, but it's a signed hardcover. Uh, what's really cool about that, and I don't think I have a, pe a author picture here, it does not appear so, uh, is that the author picture looks incredible. <laughs> it, uh, it has Robert McCammon done up like this kind of like spooky gambler. It's a character from one of the stories. And, uh, you know, it's him in full costume and makeup, uh, which he's done for the past several releases in the Matthew Corbett series. Uh, but he has a cane in that author photo, and the actual cane is not being auctioned off, it's being raffled off uh, through Alabama Booksmith. And I believe if you pre-order a copy, you are instantly entered for a chance to win that cane. Uh, I could be mistaken on that. Uh, maybe it's a separate raffle. I should double-check the details, but I'm pretty sure it's when you order a copy of Seven Shades of Evil from Alabama Booksmith. Uh, they have plenty of other McCammon titles over at Alabama Booksmith. Lots of signed titles there. Okay, yeah, so we are jumping around in time, September 1702. Uh, so you should definitely go check them out. Uh, as Hunter, uh, the master of all social media for Robert McCammon, has, has pointed out, uh, they only cover the hard, only carry hardcovers. So there are some more Levidian paperbacks coming out, uh, which is the Border. Uh, oh my God, the Border, the Listener, and then uh, the most recent title, The King of Shadows. Uh, those are just paperbacks. You cannot get signed copies to the Alabama Booksmith for those. But you can probably get, they might have hardcover copies. Uh, the Border has probably been out of print and hardcover for about 10 years now through Subterranean Press. I don't know if they have copies of that, but I'm sure they have copies of The Listener, and I'm sure they have cop which is relatively recent. I mean, that's like, what, five years old? Uh, and I know they have copies of The King of Shadows that you can get signed. So anyways, uh, the text might seem a little small here. It is going to be smaller text. Uh, one thing to note, and he had he did this, he being Brian James Freeman, did do this with the King of Shadows, and he is doing this with Seven Shades of Evil. Uh, the text in the trade edition is going to be a little bit smaller in, in terms of size uh, in order to keep the page counts down, in order to keep the costs and prices down. Uh, if you buy in the limited edition, which you can buy through the secondary market, you should have a little bit larger font, uh, so you're not going to have uh, any eye strain there. Uh, but anyways, I am very excited to dive into this and get some more Matthew Corbett because I I absolutely loved I've loved all of the Corbett novels and all of McCammon's novels in general. Uh, but I absolutely loved The King of Shadows last year, and I was like, God damn, I need Leviathan, which is the I I don't want to say ninth novel because it's it's technically the ninth novel, but tenth release. See it now now. Robert McCammon is throwing up my whole numbering system here. <laughs> uh, so anyways, 
I can't wait to dive back into Matthew Corbett's world. Uh, he has been praised as kind of the uh, historical James Bond, and I think that is a very fair uh, fair comparison to say. Uh, and you can buy almost all of the McCammon novel, all of the McCammon Corbett novels, uh, with the exception of the first two. You can't buy the first two through Levitian Publications, but all of the rest have been published in trade hardcover. Not trade paperback. <laughs> trade paperback. They were published in trade hardcover back through Subterranean Press many years ago. Um, but starting with the third title, Mr. Slaughter Onwards, Levitian published all of them paperback over the past year. My camera does not like this cover material. I apologize on that. Um, so you can go to Levitian Publications. Actually, is it just Levitian.com? I really should have done my homework before starting this video. Links in the description below if you want trade po copies. Um, and if you, I mean, you should definitely read the first two first. Uh, uh, Speaks the Nightbird and uh, Queen of Bedlam. But unfortunately, those, uh, the rights for those are kind of tied up with the original publisher. But you can, I think, actually find both of those in like a regular trade paperback. Uh, in like a regular bookstore. I'm pretty sure like Barnes & Noble has those as well. Uh, phenomenal novels. Now once you get with the third, starting with the third one, Mr. Slaughter onwards, you can get the Levitian Publications Edition uh, to help support a small press in addition to a wonderful author such as Robert McCammon. Uh, so anyways, I'm just rambling now. Check out Levitian Publications. Thank you very much, Brian James Freeman, for the advanced reader copy. I am very much looking forward to diving in and once again inhabiting Michael Matthew, Michael Matthew Corbett's world. Oh my God! I swear I'm not drunk. Uh, I am. I, I do sound a little drunk because I am dealing with some Bell's palsy. But I swear I'm not drunk. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I will do a book review of this once I have read it, and it's definitely going to jump close to the top of my pile uh, because I cannot get enough Robert McCammon. It's going to be it's going to be super, superb. So thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you around next time.